Hey guys, this is Randy Pike at Teak, and we've had a lot of requests on how to replace a rotor in both our short course motors and our 10 scale redline motors. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to start off with the new SC4X short course motor. This is a 5.5. Uh, and we've got some tuning rotors coming out for this, so it's probably a good idea to get the video out now and show you how to do it. So uh, let's get started on how to do that. So what you're going to do basically is take out the six mounting screws. I've already taken five out. So just take those out. They're a 3 30 seconds wrench. You're going to remove the front end bell. Just set this aside. Inside this is going to be a red phenolic spacer. Just go ahead and use your Allen wrench to, to pop this out. And then you're going to see what's, the, what's called the front Y plate. So then after this, you just simply pull the rotor out, and you're done. Uh, there's no spacers or anything in, in, that are going to be coming loose on our, our current motors. They're all stuck to the shaft. Uh, basically, that's it. Once you replace it, take the new rotor, slide it in. I'm going to wiggle this around a little bit to get it seated in the rear bearing. Uh, these are very hard to do and very difficult on the SC4X. Uh, it's a pain in the ass, but it's the only way to do it. What you don't want to do is let this slam down in the motor. Um, if you do that, you have the potential to crack the lowers, the sensor board which is all the inside bottom. So just slow this, slide this down as, as easy as you can. Kind of wiggle it around. It's like that. Put in the phenolic spacer. If that's important. Do not forget to put that in. Slide the front end bell on. Now, on this end bell in particular, you'll notice that we've got three millimeter and four millimeter mounting screws, depending on your application. You can clock, in other words, locate these solder tabs to the desired position in the car by using you know, one of the six different positions. So make sure you you know pay attention when the way it mounts in the car. You can get those solder tabs out of your way sometimes. And that's pretty much it. I mean, basically put the rest of this remaining screws in and you're done. 